Hello and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to talk about the areas of circles, segments, and sectors. All right, so this should be a review for you. Uh, the area of a circle is going to be so the blue area here within the red circle. So the area of the circle is going to be defined as the product of pi and the square of the radius, or pi r squared. In this case, we have a measure of six units for the radius. And so the area of this blue circle is going to be 36 pi or pi times 36. So the area of a circle is equal to the product of pi and the square of the radius. All right, what's a sector? Okay, a sector is a portion of a circle bound by two radii. So in this case, the sector <clears throat> has a vertex that's the center of the circle. Uh, so a sector of a circle is the region or area bound by two radii and an arc of the circle. Again, its vertex is going to be the center of the circle. So this blue shaded area here is considered to be a sector. Well, how do we find out what the area of a sector is? And that brings us to theorem 108. The area of a sector is equal to the area of the circle times the fractional part of the central angle of the uh, circle determined by the sector's arc or the central angle. So uh, the sector area is the measure of the arc over 360 degrees, or it's the measure of the central angle, which I abbreviate as CA, over 360 degrees. So I've identified, in this case, this particular sector as a central angle measure of 60 degrees, and the measure of the arc is also going to be 60 degrees. So we take the fractional portion of the uh, central angle of the arc relative to the entire measure of the circle, which would be 60 over 360, times pi r squared, which would be the entire area of the circle. So a fractional part times the entire area gives us our results. So 60 over 360 is 1 sixth times 25 pi gives us 25 over 6 pi for the area of, uh, and we're gonna say unit squared here, for the area of this particular sector. Okay, moving on. A uh, segment now is going to be a portion of a circle bound by a chord of the circle and its corresponding arc. So here we have a chord. Here's my chord. And then the corresponding arc, uh, I'll highlight in black here. So the segment of a circle is a region bound or area bound by a chord and of the circle and its corresponding arc. So we're trying to figure out this blue area. So how do we figure out what that area is? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the area of um, the sector, in this case, and we're going to subtract the area of the triangle, which is formed by the two radii and also the chord. And uh, then we'll have the area of the seg segment. So first we need to find out the area of the sector then we're going to subtract the area of the triangle, and then we'll be left with the area of the segment. So in this case, let's say that the central angle is 60 degrees. I have a radius of 6. Uh, I know that if this is a 60 degree angle, uh, and this measure is also 6, that I have an isosceles triangle as well. So these two angles add up to uh, 120. Uh, they also need to be 60. So I am left with a, an equilateral triangle, so 6, 6, and 6. All right, so let's figure out the area of the sector first. Well, I know that the area of the sector is a fractional uh, portion of the entire circle relative to the central angle or the measure of the arc, and I'm going to say the measure of the central angle is 60. So I have 60 over 360. Now it times the total area of the circle, which is going to be pi r squared, or 36 pi. So 60 over 360 is 1 sixth, times 36 pi gives us 36 over 6 pi, which is equal to 6 pi. All right, so that's the area of the sector. So area of the sector is 6 pi. Now we want to figure out the area of the triangle. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw an altitude from the center of the circle to the chord. And we know that we're going to bisect that chord. 
We know that this angle is going to be 30, and I also have a right angle here, so I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Half the length of 6 is going to be 3, so the altitude here is going to be 3 root 3. And the area of the triangle then is going to be 1 half the base, which is 6. So it's going to be minus 1 half of 6 times 3 root 3. Uh, so that gives us 6 pi minus 9 root 3. All right, so that's our answer. 6 pi times, or 6 pi minus 9 root 3 is going to be the area of the segment. So we took the area of the sector, we found out the area of the triangle, we subtracted the area of the triangle from the area of the sector, and that gives us the area of our segment. All right, and I just go through the same problem here. All right, so now another problem for you, and you can pause this video and reconstruct this on your own to find the uh, ratio of the areas of the two equilateral triangles. Equilateral triangle has a side length of 6. A second triangle is similar to it and has side lengths of 18. Find the ratio of the area of the smaller triangle to the area of the larger triangle. So why don't you pause this and then come back in a second, and I will review the answer. All right, so I've drawn the two triangles, one with a side length of 6 and one with a side length of 18. We've already figured out the uh, area of an equilateral triangle with a side length of 6 in the prior slides, 1 half 6 times 3 root 3, which gives me 9 root 3. And let's figure out the area of an equilateral triangle with <clears throat> a side length of 18. So I have 18 half of the side is 9. I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle, 60 here. Here's my altitude that provides me with a right angle. The balance is 30 for 180 degree triangle. So this leaves me with 9 root 3 as my altitude. My area is 1 half base times height, so 1 half of 18 times 9 root 3, which gives me uh, 81 root 3. So your answer is going to be a ratio of 1 to 9. So 81 root 3 to 9 root 3, or 9 root 3 to 81 root 3 gives me 1 to 9. All right, that's it for this edition of Ott and Math on areas of circles, segments, and sectors. Come and join us for some practice problems in the next edition of Ott and Math.